Hello Hummingbirds, this is Henry, your art teacher, and I'd like to welcome all of you to our first online art session. And um, I have to admit that all of this feels a little bit strange, but I guess we learn new things every day. Okay, so let's get started. The materials we need for drawing today would be a pencil, some color pencils for coloring, a sharpie, and last but not least, an eraser. Okay, so we have been practicing drawing with basic shapes. So we were using basic shapes like triangles, circles, squares, and rectangles to create pictures. So today, we are going to try to draw kitty cats with these shapes. So take a moment to look at this cat I drew. Oh, I can hear what you're saying. You're saying, oh no, that's too difficult. I can do something like that. But don't panic. Don't worry. So what we're going to do, when we see a very complicated form, the first thing we need to do is to study it. So can you tell me what are the different shapes that make up this beautiful cat? Let's look at the head. Okay, it's a nice oval shape. And then we look at the eyes. Round eyes. What about the nose? We have a triangle for a nose. And the mouth is just two semicircles together. What about the ears? Three sides. Triangles. We can use triangles for the ears. So what we're going to do today is try to do a simple kitty. So, what I need to do is to get a fresh piece of paper and then I'm going to use my Sharpie because it's much clearer for you to see. Okay, the shape of the head was a nice oval shape and I like to do my ovals by doing two half crescents together. So I would draw one half like that and then the other half like that. So I have a nice oval head and I'm going to add the ears. The ears are triangles. And then big round eyes. What about the nose? It's a tiny little triangular nose. And then we do the mouth like that. And then we are going to put a couple of dots on the cheeks. Good. Then we have some whiskers growing out from the cheeks. Look at that. We completed the cat's head. So now what I'm going to do next is to do the legs. I'm going to do a long line coming from the center of the head. And have another line on the other side. And at the bottom here, we have the paw. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Nice. So I'm going to put the body in next. So it comes down right to the bottom here. And then it's going to have a little paw underneath. And we do the same thing on this side. And we have the body. Our cat is not quite complete. We are missing the tail. So we have a long curly tail right back. Complete your cat. Let's color it. How about orange? I love orange. 
So be very careful to color within the lines. Let's keep it a little bit neat. And coloring the body too. And then the tail. Let's add a little bit of yellow for the eyes to make it really pop out. Oh, that's a pretty kitty. What do you think? I think our kitty is pretty adorable. But something is missing. It's not quite exciting. What can we do? I am going to use my Sharpie and give the kitty some markings. So what you do is start with a line and then it becomes shorter as you go inwards towards the body. Can you do that? And it becomes smaller as we go inside. So you do the same thing on the other side. Now the cat has a pattern. And we're going to do the same thing for the tail. We just put a couple of lines close together, leave some space and do it all over again. You can put some markings on his head too. And even on his cheeks. Oh, kitty cat is looking really adorable now. What if I put little hairs sticking out from his body? Do you think it makes the cat look fluffier? Or maybe a little bit more hairy? I think it's a pretty nice cat. So let's try again and make a different cat this time. But instead of using an oval shape for his head, I'm going to be adventurous and use a square. Okay, I have a nice square over here. And then of course I'm still going to use triangles for the ears. But for the eyes, let's do something different. Instead of circles, let's do like a teardrop. The nose, a little triangle for the nose. some dots on the cheeks and the whiskers now we're going to do the body we start with the legs do a long line coming down from the center of the head okay we're gonna have another line on the other side and when you're close to the other line you're going to do the paw and we're going to do the same on this side So now we're going to put the body and the back paw beneath the bottom of there. And we got our cat. And then of course, we have the cat's tail. What do you think about this cat? Do you like this cat? 
Hmm. What color should we use? I'm thinking green. I've never seen a green cat before, but I think it might be fun. Let's try it. Okay. Let's color within the within the lines to keep it neat. Okay, green cat. How do you like my green cat? I like it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna color up the body too. Okay, I broke the tip of my color pencil. Let me have it sharpen. Okay, then continue with the green for the body. Fun thing about art is that there's no right or wrong answer. And you can draw your subject in any manner you wish because it's really up to your imagination. So now I got my green cat, which is looking really pretty. And we could do the same thing. We could put some markings. And a little marking on the top of his head. And we have a kitty cat that looks completely different. Which one do you like better? I like the green one with the strange squarish face. Okay, let's try doing a third one. Now, what are the shapes we could use? How about a triangular face? Do you think we can make that work? Okay, a triangular face. Then we have the ears sticking out. Then we have the eyes. We're going to have these almond eyes that are slanted downwards. Big black pupils. Tiny little nose, triangular nose, small little mouth, okay, dot, 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 on the cheeks, dot, 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 and then we're going to have the whiskers. Do you remember how to do the body? Line from the center, another line on the other side, and then the paw at the end. So we do it the same way. And we're going to do the body from the head all the way down to the bottom. Okay, a nice curve. Then we're going to have the paw. And we need a tail. We got a different cat. Now, what color? I'm going to try this color. Ooh, what do you think? Think that's a nice color? The color within the lines, keep it neat. It's kind of a light purplish blue, but you can't really see it. It's not showing up on the camera very well. Okay. Now let's see. 
instead of patterns on this cat, I think I want to give it curly fur. So I'm just going to do little curls as a pattern. What do you think? How does it look? Do you like it? It looks like it has curly hair. You can do it on the tail too. So, what do you think? Which cat is your favorite? They're all different. Drawing challenge! So right now, I want you guys to see if you could draw a beautiful cat face. So I'm just going to get it set up on the computer here. And then we are going to do a drawing challenge. Now you need your pencil. Okay. If you have a picture of a cat, that would be great. So, the first thing we did, remember, was the, sh the shape of the head. Shape of the head was a nice round oval, right? And then it has triangular ears. And it has big round eyes. It has a tiny little triangular nose. Meow. Have fun drawing. Bye-bye.